Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for our Saturday morning stick class. Hope everyone's doing great out there. In today's class I'll be using predominantly the longer stick. I will have a short stick uh, that I'll be doing some movements on. If you don't have a short stick it's okay. I'll show you how to make the adjustments for the longer stick. So let's go ahead and get started. As always uh, make sure we're gonna do we're gonna start in some half kneeling position today so make sure you have a knee pad uh, if you need that or a couch cushion at home. Alrighty, so let's grab a short, uh, long stick here. Let's get those feet, weight, weight those feet right up. First thing we're gonna do, nice wide base with the feet. Let's take your hips, drop them down about two to three inches straight towards the floor. If you look at my position, my head is stacked over my shoulders and my shoulders are over my hips. So I wanna be nice and stacked. I don't wanna be leaning forward in this position. Stick is at 12 o'clock, stack the hands about chest level. We're gonna push that stick into the floor at about 40% tension. You're gonna feel those lats engage, you're gonna feel that deep front line activated. And now from here, without changing the level of the head, simply bring those heels up. We're gonna get those toes into extension and then slowly bring the heels down. Back up. Back down. Back up, back down. One more, back up, toes are awake. Let's lift that stick one inch off the floor. Let's hold that position. Get those toes liking this nice and strong. Stick down and bring the heels down. Now, we're gonna dynamically hinge, get that posterior line warmed up. So let's take those feet about shoulder width apart, stick at 12 o'clock, hands just about sternum level. Make sure you switch hand position also, don't always put the same hand on top. From here, let's push the stick into the floor about 50% tension and hinge. Push your hips straight backwards. Keep the lower leg bone nice and still though, so we're centering the ankle joint. Drive back up. Maintain that tension into the ground with the stick the whole time. Back out into the hinge, driving the butt backwards, extending the arms forward, drive back up. Let's go three more of those. Push the butt straight back. You should have an angle at the knees. Don't let the butt drop towards the floor. It's not a squat, it's a hinge. Drive back up. Two more. One more. Excellent. Now we're gonna do a single, a little bit of a single leg work here, and then we're gonna do that back bend on that single leg. So if you need to use a second stick for this for added stability, go ahead and do that. But for the rest of us, if you can use that single stick, great. So we're gonna place the feet about an inch apart. Place that stick at one o'clock with the bottom of the stick slightly angled towards you, and the right hand is just about chest level. Let's push that stick into the floor at about 50% tension. With your left hand, make a fist, really clench it. Imagine you had an imaginary stick in that hand and really grip. Drive that right leg up, right hip into extension, squeeze that left glute, and now push that right foot forward. Lean back. You can see I have that single leg back bend here. Come up, ready, and again, exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Two more. Exhale. One more. And now let's switch sides. So remember, feet are about an inch apart. Stick is at 11 o'clock, hand is chest level. Push the stick into the floor about 50% tension. With that right hand, make a nice fist, really squeeze, clench. Bring that left hip up into flexion. Exhale, squeeze that right glute and push that left foot forward. Come back up. Exhale. Inhale, three more, ready? Exhale. Two more, ready? One more. and relax. Okay, now let's go into a little bit 
of a dynamic ninja flow, all right? So as opposed to a static where we're maybe doing recovery or post-workout, we want to really just dynamically move in and out of this since we're, it's the beginning of the workout. Wide base with the feet, stick is inside the right instep, hand, right hand is at three o'clock position and slightly above the head. Push the stick into the floor, about 50% tension. We're driving that stick down, feel that right glute, uh, right lap, and hinge. Push the hip straight backwards, and now shift your weight to this left hip, and reach across with that left arm, out to three o'clock. Come back up, we'll do four more reps of that. Push the stick, hinge, shift, and reach. Come back up, three more, ready? Hinge, shift, reach. Two more, ready? Hinge, shift, reach. One more, hinge, shift, and reach. Come back up, let's switch hands. Stick is at nine o'clock. Left hand stays at that nine o'clock position. Don't let that hand move forward or backward. 50% tension into the floor with that left hand. Hinge, shift weight onto the right leg and reach across to nine o'clock with that right arm. Come back up, four more, ready? Push, hinge, shift and reach. Come back up, three more. Hinge, shift, reach. Two more, hinge, shift, reach. One more, hinge, shift, reach. Come back to center and relax. Now, let's do a monkey hang, single arm. We're gonna add some rotation into that. Okay, bring your feet about shoulder width apart or so. Place the stick at nine o'clock or three o'clock position. Reach up with that right hand. If the stick, if you need a little bit more height on the stick, Use a chair, place that stick on the seat of the chair, and that'll give you some in immediate height elevation. Okay, bring that left hand across sternum level, step back with that right foot, take a big split too, don't be dainty with that step. Ready, and drop straight down like an elevator. Don't shift weight forward like an escalator, we're dropping straight down. Use this left hand to hold that stick in, once you know that stick is gonna hold your weight, let go of that left hand. And now with that left hand, let's reach behind to six o'clock. Come back. Inhale as you come back to center. Exhale as we go into rotation. Ready? We're hanging on that right arm. Exhale as we're rotating. Come back. Ready? Drop and rotate. Try to keep this front hip square also. Try not to let that hip fly out. Two more, ready? Drop and rotate. You're gonna feel that right hand come across your midline. All right, one more, ready? Drop and rotate. Push that stick into the floor with that right hand. Come back and relax. Let's switch sides. Stick at nine o'clock. Reach up with that left hand, bring that right hand across. Big step back with that left foot. Left toes are in extension, so keep that left heel up. Ready, and drop, just like an elevator. Once that stick, you know that's gonna hold you, take your right hand off, exhale, and turn. Back to six. Come back, ready, drop, and rotate. Bring that stick across the body with that left hand. Come back, three more, ready? Drop. Two more, ready? Drop. One more, ready? Drop. And relax. Take a little breather. Now, we're gonna go into the lateral bow and arrow dynamically moving in and out, all right? 
Let's set your feet about hip width apart. Place that stick at three o'clock with that elbow at about 90 degrees. So the bottom of the stick should be about eight to 10 inches away from your midfoot. Reach over the top with that left hand. Keep those hips square facing forward. No rotation of the hips. Ready? Exhale. Push the hips out to nine. Drive the stick out to three. And come back. Rotate the stick slightly. Ready? Exhale. Push the hips out first to nine. Stick out to three next. Come back up. Three more. Ready? Rotate the stick slightly. Exhale. Push the hip out. Reach the hand out. Come back up. Rotate the stick slightly. Two more. Ready? Exhale. Hips out to the left. Stick out to the right. Come back. Rotate the stick slightly. Last one. Ready? Hip out to nine. Stick out to three. Come back. And now let's switch sides. Stick at nine o'clock. Left elbows are about 90 degrees. You can see approximately I'm reaching right above the sticker. Reach over the top with the right hand. Exhale, push the hips out to three and then drive the stick out to nine. Come back, rotate the stick slightly, ready. Exhale, push the hip out, drive the stick away. Come back, three more, ready? Push the hip out, drive the stick away. Two more, ready? One more. Come back to center and relax. Okay. If you have the short stick, go ahead and grab the short stick. If you don't, then keep the long stick. In the If you're using the long stick for the kayak and the stick is longer than your wingspan, this is going to be your setup. We want the elbows to be straight because we want the movement to come from your scapula or your shoulder blades. So keep the arms extended and the stick is just about sternum level. If you have a short stick, go ahead and grab that. Grab a couch cushion or your knee pad. We're going to be in a half kneeling position. Let's go right knee down, left leg in front. Look at my left right hip here. It's in extension. So I'm not flexed at the hip. So make sure that hip stays underneath you. Let's go end to end on the fingertips, head up, looking down river, and let's start kayaking. Now feel the scapula gliding along the rib cage. You want the elbows to stay straight. Hover that back knee. So the back knee is off the floor. Breathe. And relax. Take a second, because now we're going to do the reverse kayak. Ready? Here we go. Hands up. And now we're going to reverse. Just like doing a backstroke in the water. Nice and slow. Breathe. And now hover. Try not to shift weight forward. And relax. Let's switch sides. Okay, so left knee is down, right leg in front. Make sure that back hip is in neutral also. So that back foot, you don't want it turned into your midline. You want to look down. If you look down, you should see it's right in line with your, with your uh, femur. Head up and begin kayaking. Forward kayaking. Breathe. Ready, and hover. A few more seconds. And relax. Okay, take a second, because the next thing we're gonna do is 
the backstroke. Okay, ready? Give those legs a little more rest. All right, let's go ahead and go. Okay, half kneeling position and begin your backstroke. Reverse kayaking. Keep the elbows straight. Breathe. And now hover. Full inhale, full exhale. And relax. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and put the pad away. Give those legs a little bit of rest. Next thing we're gonna do is the kayak, but we're gonna sit in the squat position. All right, so we want some time under load, some time under tension. So I wanna get those butts down, all right? Okay. And then on the fingertips, ready? And squat and kayak. You're literally just sitting in that kayak. Breathe. Now let's start to get a little bit more lateral flexion and extension through the torso. Imagine you are power kayaking and you really want to gain more power, you lean into it. And relax. Take a few seconds. That felt good, huh? Okay. We do two more rounds of those, all right? Take a few seconds. Ready? Here we go again. Set your feet. Squat and begin. Got that power kayaking going on. Your legs are having to deal with the shifting of your torso up top. And relax. Take a breather. You got one more round of those, all right? So remember, as you squat and pick things up off the floor, as you carry things around and you're squatting, in life, you may have to deal with some external force being applied upon you. So the legs and the hips need to be good with that. Okay, ready? Here we go. Last set of these. Squat and begin. Heels stay flat. We don't want those heels elevating right now. We can do that variation if you want, but it's gonna be much harder. So if this is easy for you, maybe give it a shot. But for the rest of us, just keep those heels flat. Plus we're working if you feel, and relax. If you feel in that movement, you can feel that ankle bone sliding around. So that's what we're looking for right there. Take a little breather. And now let's go to the floor for some shin box position. All right. We're gonna use the stick to activate our core tissues. We're gonna use the legs to drive down into the floor and the glutes to push us up into extension, all right? With the stick, hands are about a little wider than the shoulder width. As you see here, I'm staying pre to predominantly in the shin box. If you're really good, you can go into that 90-90, but for right now, for most people, the shin box is gonna be okay. If this is too much stress on the knee, use a bolster under that front leg, or use a bolster under your sit bone. If you have a yoga block or that couch cushion that you have, go ahead and throw that underneath so it decreases the amount of torque placed on that joint, all right? Ready, pull apart on the stick. Pull, 60% tension. Push the feet down into the floor and hover. Literally, bring yourself straight up like a hydraulic car lift. Squeeze the glutes, bring those hips all the way underneath you. 
And now slowly, slowly bring yourself back down. Try not to lean forward. Slow, you're pushing those legs down and relax. Ready? Let's do a few more hundred of those. Here we go. Pull. So you're driving that stick apart. 60, 70% tension. Push the legs into the floor. Drive yourself up. Squeezing the glutes, tucking that pelvis. And now slowly bring yourself down. Slow. Slow. Eccentric work and relax. Two more reps of that. Ready? Here we go. Pull 60-70%. Push the legs into the floor. Drive up. And now slowly decelerate down. Relax. One more rep. Ready? Here we go. Pull. Give me about 70, 80% tension this time. Drive up. Breathe. And now slowly go down towards the floor. Slow, 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 and relax. Like, like we always like to cue, imagine when you're decelerating down that you're coming down on eggshells and you don't want to break those eggshells. Okay? Let's switch leg position. If you experience any cramping in this, then just as always, ease out of it, walk around a little bit, and then come back in and pick up where we're at. All right? Remember, these workouts are on YouTube, so you can always go back and repeat it. Okay, here we go. Ready? Pull, lengthen that stick, push the legs down into the floor, drive up. And now slowly down towards the floor. Slow. Ready? We got three more reps of this. Here we go. Pull. Push the legs into the ground. Drive up. And now slowly go down. Slow. Slow. Slow and relax. Two more reps. Ready? Here we go. Pull. Drive the legs down. Lift up and down slow. Breathe. No holding your breath either. And relax. Last rep. Here we go. Ready? Pull. Drive up. And now down slow. Work that connected tissue of the hips, knees, and relax. Beautiful. Take a little breather. Come on up. Let's push that, uh, let's put that short stick away. And let's grab that long stick. What we're gonna do here is a hinge position with an isometric wall push. So it's a rotational isometric. So you're gonna work the lateral tissues and those spiral line tissues of the obliques in the hinge position. Because when you bend over to pick something up, you can see that there's rotation involved. So we wanna make sure that we're strong in that position. Okay, here's my wall. So make sure you're, you're perpendicular to the wall. Oops, I'll move this bench away a little bit more. Okay, so that stick is right about arm level, which for me isn't very long. Okay, push the stick into the wall at about 60% tension. Your feet are about shoulder width apart, and now hinge. Push that butt straight backwards. You're still driving the stick into the wall. Let the elbows flex so you're bringing the sternum down to the stick. And now extend the arms down. So now as you extend the arms down, you feel that rotation taking place. Bring the arms back up. 
and stand back up out of the hinge. Let's do four more reps. Ready? Push. And so now you know why we have the stick right around natural arm length. Hinge. Let the sternum drop down to the stick. Don't move the stick yet. And now extend the arms down. Pushing that stick in the wall, 60, 70% tension. Come back up and let's go three more reps. Ready? Push, hinge, and now extend the arms. Bring the arms back up, stand back up. Two more reps, ready? Push, hinge, and then extend the arms. Bring the arms back up, come back up. One more rep, ready, here we go. Push, hinge, extend the arms, driving that stick into the wall. Bring the arms back up and stand back up. Now, for this one, I'm gonna push against this wall so you can see my side profile, okay? So, stick is here. Set your feet about shoulder width apart or wherever you feel comfortable. Push the stick into the wall, a 60, 70% tension and hinge. I'm bringing my sternum down towards the stick. And now I extend the arms down. And you're gonna feel that thoracic rotation to the left. Bring your arms up and stand back up. Four more reps, ready? Push, hinge, and now extend the arms. Back up, stand up. Three more, ready? Push, hinge, and extend the arms. Back up, all the way up. Last two, here we go, ready? Push, hinge, and extend the arms. Back up. Last one, ready? Push, hinge, extend the arms, back up, and relax. Woo, take yourself a little rest. All right, now let's get into some stretching, okay? First thing we do is a slap shot. So we're gonna go through the 90-90, uh, through the slap shot and the bow and arrow, but the difference out now before this morning is we're gonna make this more static, so we're gonna stay in the position a little bit longer, all right? So let's start with the slap shot first. Wide base with the feet. Stick is parallel to the floor across the low back. Look at where the stick position is. Arms are extended. Hinge, go back into your hinge. Push the butt straight back. Stomach is pushing down, chest is coming up a little bit. Now, without shifting your weight through the hips, take that left end of the stick, bring it down and across the body. When you get to your end range of motion, just place the stick on the floor. But this hip is square, so this hip is not turned in at all. Pull apart on that stick at about 30% tension. Breathe. And now lunge to the left leg and stay there and breathe. Move the head around a little bit, explore. You're pulling apart on that stick still. Keep that weight on that left leg and now shift weight to the right leg. Push that left leg straight so you feel that left adductor. Still pulling apart on that stick. Mobilize the neck. Back to the left hip. Still working on mobilizing that neck. Pulling apart on the stick.
Back over to the right hip, pushing that left leg into the floor. Back to center, bring the left end of the stick up. Come up if you need a little bit of a break. Now we're gonna do the opposite side, ready? Here we go, go into your hinge. Take that right end of the stick, bring it down and across the body without shifting or turning that right hip in. When you get to your end range, place the stick on the floor. Pull apart on the stick at about 30% tension. So you're trying to lengthen the stick. Bottom hand should be pushing towards the floor. Top hand should be driving up towards the ceiling. And now lunge to the right leg. Stay there and breathe. Mobilize the neck. If you feel a position that you put your head in and so you got some neck tissues that feel a little bit tight, stay there for a second. Now lunge to the left leg. Pulling apart on that stick still, pushing that right foot into the floor so you feel that right adductor. Lunge back to the right leg, sink into it a little bit more this time. Pull it apart on that stick. Back to the left leg. Back to center and relax. Okay, let's grab that knee pad or that couch cushion again. So next thing we're gonna do is the snake reach. Snake reach is gonna get into the lateral tissues of the ribs up into the arm. So just like a snake, when it goes up and around a tree, it goes up and it twists around the tree. We're gonna want the hand to do the same motion around the stick. As we wrap the hand around the stick, that's what's gonna bring that reflexive tension into that arm line, all right? So let's start with the left knee on the pad, on the pad first, on the down floor and then bring the right leg in front. Remember, check your back hip position as always, and make sure your left hip stays in extension. We're not looking for flexion in this position. Get that hip underneath you. You should feel that left glute engaged because that left glute is driving that left hip into extension. Place the stick inside against the right adductor. If this ends up being a little bit too much stress for you, place the stick outside the right thigh but if it's not then place it inside take that left hand reach up and over with the palm facing forward take your right hand everybody wave hi thread the right hand between the body and the stick all right so now with your right hand grab the bottom of the stick you should feel this right adductor pushing against the stick. We want to lock that hip in. Now, with that left thumb, take that left thumb into a false grip. So you're wrapping the thumb around the stick. You're not grabbing the stick. And just like a snake, go up and around the stick. Breathe. Head up. You're going to feel that tension all the way through the left arm into the ribs. Breathe, E, slide the hand back down, and now back up again. Slide the arm up and around. Try to go just a little bit further this time. Keep that left hip in extension though, so make sure that left hip is underneath you. Come back down, let's go one more rep. Ready, and again. Breathe. Come back down and thread back out. Let's switch sides. Right knee is on the floor, left leg in front. Bring that left stick inside the adductor. Unless it's too much stress for your ribs and your shoulders, then place the stick outside. 
the left thigh. The steps are all gonna be the same, it's just the placement of this stick is gonna be different. Right hand up and over, right palm facing forward. Left hand up, everybody wave. Take that left hand, thread between the stick and your body. Grab the bottom of the stick with the left hand. You should feel the left adductor pushing in against the stick to lock that hip in. Make sure that right hip is in extension. Wrap that right thumb around the stick and go up and around with the hand. And one side is not gonna find this as enjoyable as the other. Slide back down, or maybe it will, who knows. Ready, back up. And enjoyable is really just a, for what, for joy for some people may not be joy for others. Bring it back down. But as always, we don't wanna put you in a position of pain. So if you feel that immediate pain response, decrease the movement or decrease the angle, ready? And again, one more. We want your tissues in your body to adapt to this stuff, not try to survive this stuff. Bring it back down and relax, nice. Okay, grab your short stick. So the next stretch we're gonna do is a 90-90 setup. And we're gonna go after, we're gonna lock the adductor down and we're gonna get into that psoas, all right? So here's your wall. So make sure the base of the, the wall is behind you. Have a seat on the floor. And if you have just a longer stick, it just means you're gonna to have to sit farther away from the wall, that's the only difference. Right now, I'm gonna start with my right leg in front of me and my left leg behind me. So I'm in that 90-90 position. So my left right femur is facing 12 o'clock, my left femur is facing nine o'clock. Take the stick, place it into the base of the wall. So I have the stick in my left hand. I'm gonna go down onto my right elbow. From here, that left leg, your back leg, push it down into the floor. And as you push that left leg down into the floor, you should feel this left hip tissue come under tension. You should feel that light up. With the left hand, push the stick into the floor simultaneously. So I'm pushing the left leg down into the ground, the whole leg, the left foot, the left knee. I'm driving it down and I'm pushing that stick into the base of the wall at about 30 to 40% tension. Squeeze that left glute and give me a posterior pelvic tuck. So that means you're trying to take the bottom of the pelvis and roll it up to the ceiling. And you're trying to take the top of the pelvis and roll it back towards the floor. You should feel that start to really start to activate all the way up through the front of that left anterior line of the hip into the rectus abdominis. Breathe, ease off tension. Okay, ready? And again, push the left leg down into the floor, push that left stick into the floor, squeeze that left glute, tuck that pelvis, and now with the left arm, extend outward, reach. As you continue to push, now you're gonna feel that length in that line even more. Bring the stick back, ease off tension, ready? One more, here we go. Push the leg into the floor, left leg, push that stick into the floor, squeeze that left glute, posterior pelvic tuck, and now extend the arm away from you. Keep squeezing that glute, keep tucking that pelvis. Come back and relax. Let's switch sides. So the left leg's in front, right leg is tucked behind. So my left femur is facing 12, my right femur is facing three o'clock right towards you guys. Okay, placing the stick in the right hand, using the base of the wall, I'm gonna go down onto my left arm. I'm shaking my right leg right now. I'm gonna drive that right leg into the floor. I'm gonna push the stick into the base of the wall at about 30 to 40% tension. Squeeze that right glute, tuck that pelvis, breathe. 
Full inhale, nice full inhale, and nice full exhale. Ease off tension. Okay, ready? And now we're gonna reach with the arm. Push the right leg down, push the stick into the base of the wall. Squeeze the right glute, tuck the pelvis, and now extend the right arm out towards nine o'clock. Bring the right arm back, ease off tension. Okay, ready? Here we go. Right leg down, push the stick into the floor with the right hand, squeeze that right glute, tuck that pelvis, and reach. Nice full inhale, nice full exhale. Come back and relax. As you exhale, remember you want that you want to try to get that whole abdominal cylinder to collapse inward. So we want to really push everything out. And as you do that, you start to feel more of those really deep core tissues uh, really contract. So focus on your breathing, especially when you're uh, stretching out, all right? And now the last one, let's finish with the bow and arrow, okay? This time we're going to hold it. So once again, this is going to be more static. We're going to spend a little more time in this position. Feet about shoulder width apart. Stick at three o'clock, left hand over the top, push your hip out first, then push the stick out second. Let the head tilt. Nice full inhale. Expand everything on the inhale. Let everything expand outward. Your stomach, your ribs. You wanna feel everything opening up. Take as much air in as you can, and then exhale. Collapse everything in. Imagine you're trying to take all the air out of, uh, out of a uh, can. You squish that can, right? You want all the fluid out. Inhale. Nice big inhale. And then exhale. Ease off. Okay, let's switch sides. Remember, as you exhale, every time you think you can exhale, exhale a little bit more. You got a little more CO2 you can push out. Ready? Stick at nine o'clock, reach the right hand over, push the hip out to three o'clock first, extend the arms out to nine. Let the head tilt. Keep your hips square, ready? Inhale. Let everything expand. Exhale. Collapse everything in. Inhale. Nice big inhale. Take in as much oxygen as you can. Exhale. Push everything out. Push, push, push. One more. Inhale. Take in as much oxygen as you can. Let everything expand. Exhale, push everything out, push everything out, and relax. Whew. Great work today, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Great to see everyone out there. Thank you for your continued support. We love everyone out there. As always, check out our content on Stick Mobility YouTube channel. We're always throwing new content out there, plus these workouts are gonna be on that YouTube channel. So if you've got a workout that you really like, put a bookmark next to it and you can repeat that over and over, all right? Uh, Neil and I are recording new podcasts. In fact, for all the listeners out there, if you have any questions, please DM us any questions that you may have. We're gonna be doing a Q&A podcast on the 17th of September and we will be releasing that on the 21st. So it won't be too far out. So get those questions into us. We may pick your question to address, and of course we'll let we'll uh, we'll tag you or uh, let you know who everybody uh, who everybody know who you are when you ask that question. Everybody, uh, I will see you here on Tuesday. So I will be filling in on Tuesday. So everyone out there, be good to each other. <laughs>